Okay, Kev, go to the address bar. Type in i1os. Dot com. What is that exactly? It's, sh it's short for Internet One Operating System. Okay. You down for? Yep. Okay, this is a a desktop, kind of like the Windows desktop, like your wallpaper and stuff. So uh, to create a file, right click on the the picture, the wallpaper. Go to new, create ML script or new ML script file. Name it whatever you want to call it. Okay, Should that. I call it Kevin a subway ML? Sure. Yeah, that's better. Uh, holding down the shift key on your keyboard, click on Kevin of Subbury, the text, like the new file you just created. Okay, uh, resize that window so it takes up like a half your screen. Right there? Yeah. All right here, I'll actually, I'll show you how you can do it. You can grab a uh, bit of the screen like to drag something like this. Okay. Let go. And then you can say uh, fit to your selection. Okay. So you kind of go in the corner of the screen, like right here. Yeah. On one knee, right there. Or, right here. or any corner that's easiest. Don't go off the screen. Yeah, that should be good. Now click on Kevin O'Subbery. Just click on it without the shift key. Uh, Go to its system menu, which is the little icon on the top of the window. Right here? Yeah. Click on it. Other click. Click uh, yeah. Click on fit. Okay. On the left side is your program. On the right side is your code. Yeah. Which is you're telling your computer how to make the, what to do. So in your uh, notepad, that's called notepad here? Yeah, notice how uh, up here it says notepad. Okay. That's that's just indicating here is just Kevin O'Subbery, your program. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll get something started by, we can put like your, uh, you can say value equals Kevin O'Subbery. Period? Yep. Oh. Uh, as long uh, you can have a period in your text. Here I'll, I showed you with this with a uh, file save, just like a normal uh, notepad. Okay. Oops. Notice there's no changes. But once you saved it, you don't see the result until you reload it. Okay. Because you just changed the program. Okay. So you got to go to the system menu and refresh. and refresh. See how it says Kevin of Subbury? Yeah. So Matt was wondering if uh, you can put periods. Yeah. So draw another period there just so that you see the period at the end. Uh, hit F2 for the quick way of saving. So I have two saves? Yeah, you'll notice in the notepad at the bottom, the status bar? Yeah. When you hit F2, it should say it's saving. See how it, it animated saving file? Yeah. If you try it now, F2 again, a warning will pop up and saying that there was no detectable changes. So okay. it's just saying that you've already you saved, really it. saved it. So now it might say Kevin O'Sabri with a period. That's what we're hoping for. Here, I'll just reload it. Okay. See how there's a period at the yeah. end? <coughs> so what it's looking for is actually a period at the end of the line.
to indicate that it's the end of the sentence. So all other periods are just actual periods. Yeah. <clears throat> so say you want to change the color of the font, go to uh, the next line down. Uh, with Notepad, you'll notice that you have to hit return at the end of the line, like if you're at the end okay. of it. Enter? Yeah. Okay. Type in the word color. And uh, you might have to use the American version, OR, right now. I'll have the Canadian upgrade later. I'm not sure if it's in yet. Okay. U plus? Yeah. Can you guess? Red? Sure. And remember, it's end of statement. I use periods to indicate that. Just one? Yep. Yep. Okay. Now, do you remember how to save it? Yes. There's two ways. Back two. Okay. Do you remember how to reload it? You notice the difference? Right. Okay. Say you want to make the font bigger. <coughs> Do you go font equals? Yeah, but uh, this time instead of just font, yeah, we'll go font size. But this time it has to be a capital S for size. The, is there space? There's no space actually, but I'll I'll improve the language later so you have more options. Okay. But this is the actual JavaScript way. Okay. <coughs> Equals. Yep. Now you can. Uh, I'm not sure what the default one is, but it's probably like 10. So if you type in like 30, it'll be three times bigger. And you have to type in px or else Firefox won't show it properly. It, PX is short for pixels. Your screen is divided into so many pixels across and so many down. So you're saying you want your font size to be 30 pixels high. Okay. So uh, put in end of statement again. You'll notice the PX shorthand everywhere when you're declaring something a size in pixels. Okay. You can declare it in pixels or percentage. If you say uh, 32 percentage, then a lot of cases that'll be 32 percent of the screen or whatever layer it's in. Okay, uh, let's see if the font size has changed. Do you save it in? F2. Under refresh. Yeah. So if you wanted to make it twice as big, how would you do that? you another style which is uh, called text align later on I'll just rename it to align but say you want to have it centered or to the right okay see how your Kevin Osebri it's says it's to the left yeah. you'll notice that there's a pattern with whenever there's two words like text align yeah you'll notice that all all words except for the first word are capitalized like see how font size is two words and the second word is capitalized yeah. because the uh, limitations of the JavaScript or the way they, they designed it, they didn't want spaces just because it makes it hard to uh, execute, I guess, or hard to work with. So they uh, capitalized every word except for the first one. You'll just notice this pattern with it. Okay. So when first I say text align... The second one is capitalized, first one ain't. Yeah, that's right. So text won't be capitalized, but a line will be, and there won't be uh, any spaces. Okay. I, I, G, N. So you want to center it or to put it to the right? You have two options. You can either say left, right, center, or justified. That means if you have a really large paragraph, they'll try and fit, they'll try and space it out so it looks like a block okay. sort of thing. 
tool. You don't use it too often, but uh, if you think about it, sometimes it looks nice. Is that, is yeah, it R there's uh, the Canadian way is RE, but uh, JavaScript was designed with the uh, ER? American. Okay. But with once I upgrade it, I'll add the Canadian versions. I've already done that in a lot of places, but not here. So now, if you save it and run it, you should notice you must have saved it already. Yeah. Cool. So if you got tired of the process of uh, saving, uh, saving and uh, or refreshing or whatever, you can type in you can type in a function that will reload the page for you automatically. Like uh, what I use is when double clicking on the application it will reload itself so that way you don't have to go to the menu and say re refresh or whatever okay. I'll, sh I'll show you uh, I'll just type it in and I'll explain a little bit as I go the way JavaScript events work or like uh, when it listens to uh, events like if the mouse clicked on it or if the mouse double clicked on something or it all starts with the word on. O N, you'll notice there's a lot like on click, on double click, on mouse over, on uh, on mouse down, like if the mouse button is down, or on mouse up. Like there's a few times when you might need those specific ones. In this case we'll go with uh, <coughs> on double click. They don't actually spell out the whole word double. They go on D B L. So like that's short for on double. Okay. Click. So that's supposed to mean on double click. Okay. And I'll make this easier later. So I'm saying on double click equals this function. And then functions start and end with curly brackets. Okay. There beside the uh, the P. See the le the letter P on the keyboard? Yeah. They're the yeah. curly, you got square brackets and curly yeah. brackets on those things. So you got to hit shift, shift in those okay. next key. And there's places for the straight brackets and there's places for the curly brackets. Okay. But you'll mostly see the curly brackets. They indicate. So what this is meaning now is when I double click on this thing, it's going to run whatever I tell it to inside here. But it's not going to run this until I double click. So you double click on that to run that. Yeah, so I'll go uh, window location reload. I'll save that. I'll refresh it one last time and see if this works. So I'll double click now and see if it reloads. See how it's reloading? Yeah. So now, this is a little bit advanced, but it's just to save you from right clicking all the time. Okay. If you want, I can just hide that for you. So you don't really have to get there yet. Yeah. But now you can just double click on that and it'll reload it. So now you can type your stuff, hit F2, and then save go over it with F2 then double click. Yeah. So like say you wanted to make that a little smaller. I'll go thirty and then I'll double click. See it's a little faster now. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what